Hello. It is thri it is Friday the thirteenth, twenty twenty. It's the thirteenth of March and uh, I've got the next week and a half off work, so I thought we could do a nice wholesome quarantine video. I've got my gloves, I've got my face mask, I've got my eye protection, and I have some nice wholesome PlayStation 1 games to play here on my PS3. this going to work. Okay, so this first game, i going to turn that down a bit. This first game I have never actually played before. It's a Harry Potter game as you can see. 2001, this is quite a late PlayStation game. I was never really in to Harry Potter at all while it was kind of a thing. I kind of knew it existed, but I never really, like... I don't know, I, I never really cared all that much about it. I saw the first... The first two and a half films? The first two and a half, yeah. And then I just kind of dropped off. Didn't read any of the books. Never played any of the games. <sighs> it just kind of wasn't my thing. There we go. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in America. Because uh, the joke is, uh, at the time at least, the joke was that the reason the Americans called it the Sorcerer's Stone is because Americans didn't know what a philosopher was. <laughs> uh. Of course, the, the, the term Philosopher's Stone is a, uh, is a term that's been used for a very long time. It's originally uh, associated with the ancient art of alchemy, but has since been co-opted by various things and media since. It, it basically, it's shorthand for something you can't have. That's what it means. It's like, oh, you know, uh, the, the process by which, because in theory, you could turn lead into gold. But, you know, the process of getting that to happen is beyond man's reach. Or beyond man's reach for you know for the foreseeable next you know mille few millennia let's say, and so the philosopher's stone would refer to you could say the process by which you could do the impossible or obtain the impossible. It's uh, you, you you could call it the original unobtainium, but of course it's it's been interpreted by various media and media as a a literal stone not a metaphor but okay sure whatever sound options center screen ah. call this one of the um, the last the last like big budget releases for the PlayStation 1 like like 2001 by that point the PS2 is out anyone who really cares about games has got a PS2 or you know a GameCube or whatever or maybe they, they've still got a Dreamcast you know I, I still had a Dreamcast in 2001, but, you know, most people have moved on from the PS1 by that point, but yeah. So, 
one of the last decent budget games for the system. Also, one of the few decent, like, from what I've been told, decent, high-quality film, like, or book adaptation games. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Basically, just fast-forwarded through the first third of the, of the book-slash-movie there. Uh-oh. Bit of audio awkwardness. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is the audio going to be a problem? This is where the, uh, the voice acting ends, eh? Now, Hogwarts is oh. full of secrets, Okay, voice Harry, acting. So, search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Oh, great. Hmm. Is my analog sticks on? Nitwit, blubber, oddment, tweak, four wonderful words, don't you think? Uh, okay, hang on, I'm just going to turn. I've got a feeling this game does not run perfectly. Uh... <laughs> on the PlayStation 3. It's one of those PlayStation 1 games that is not perfect, or at least not, not close to perfect when running it on a PlayStation 3. Uh, as we've heard by those uh, audio bugs at the start there. There we go. Okay, X does nothing. Circle does nothing. Square does nothing. Triangle does nothing. L2 and R2 rotate the camera. Right stick does nothing. Again, we're in that, that very, very short period of time when games had access to second analog sticks but didn't always use them to control cameras. All these doors have locks on them. Let's see what he's got to say. Talk to me, old man. You want to talk to me? No? Ah, hoggy, watty Hogwarts. Oh, wonderful place to explore. Uh -huh. It's a big... So I'm just going to... I guess I'm just going to walk around, I guess. What's over here? Gryffindor Tower.
the great foyer. Alright, I guess we've got to go through here. Alright, what are we doing here? What's what's going on? Where am I going? What's the objective? Alright, we've got what look like collectibles. No spells. Okay. Who are these jokers? By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. Gross. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. Okay. I hope there's like a map for this place. Because this seems kind of like an... Almost like an open world 3D platformer. Except it's inside a giant building instead of a big outside area. So they want earwax flavoured beans. That's disgusting. What's this? The Great Foyer? Locked? I'm going to assume that's... Okay, it's the only door I can go through, so I'm going to assume that's where I've got to go. I can't even jump at the moment, which is weird. Come on, then. Password? Caput Draconis! How did you know that? Who told you? Did the twins tell you? I wasn't paying attention. Probably. They probably told me. Ooh, this is some PlayStation 1 ass. PlayStation 1 textures right there. Woof. If you lose any stamina, grab a chocolate frog. It'll give you back some energy. Not because they're chocolate, but because we've injected meth into them. What's this? Read book. No idea. Oh, here's your save game thing. When you drink a Wigan Wild potion, it replenishes all you'll have. Remarkable, isn't it? Beats a health service, I guess. What else you got to say? Try to remember where you have seen some chocolate frogs. They may come in handy when you are low on stamina. Sorry, who are you? Why do I care? When you drink a Wigan Wild potion, it replenishes oh, all you, you have. Remarkable, isn't it? You don't have anything actually different to say, do you? Alright. Okay. Where are we going? What's, uh... Is there really nothing else to do in here? Please keep the common room tidy. We'll try. Okay, there's nothing to do there. So I guess that is not actually our objective. Mm. Let's just try going up here. What's this place? Oh, we've got ghosts and candles. Hey, Harry! Remember me, Ron Weasley? That slimy Slytherin, Draco Malfoy, ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. Okay. Is it this way to the tutorial? I can't tell. Also, the load times are pretty quick. Come on, Harry. Let's find Hedwig. Well, 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 if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? 
How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? I already don't like this child. Do you talk? No. He's a nasty piece of work. Just ignore him. Us Gryffindors should stick together. <sighs> Come on, Harry. Follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. Okay. Just push towards the ledge. Gotcha. Let's go. Alright, this is the tutorial. Good to know. Follow me. Mm. To jump, just approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. What is this? Run off the edge to automatically jump. Okay, so you got... Oh, no. Whoops. Didn't mean to go there. So we've got... Uh, classic Legend of Zelda jump mechanics. You just run towards the ledge and you automatically jump. Look. There's another feather. I'll double back and watch the entrance. You'd better go on and rescue Hedwig. Watch the entrance. Moving on. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. Mm -hmm. Look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. Why? If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. Oh, it's the uh, the classic trope of a lot of 3D platformers at the time is the look around button oh we have music oh my goodness I thought the soundtrack gave up on us but I guess not okay I wonder if any of these portraits do anything, or they're just there as decoration. What happens if I keep going? anything actually worth looking at up here or is this just here for the sake of it oh that's a close one a little bit dangerous for kids don't you think Some snails have escaped from a Care of Magical Creatures class. Careful, they are dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the Flipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. Okay, we got five something. Okay. You can use your L2 and R2 buttons to rotate the game camera. Already know that. Thanks, book.
Is there a way to light these torches? Maybe not. Alright. <clears throat> That dude looks happy. Press the triangle button to view your surroundings. Already you know that. Also cast a flipendo knockback jinx from this view. See what you can find to flipendo in this room. I'll flip your endo. Hello again. Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? <laughs> Things that twinkle can be affected by a flipendo knockback jinx. This is a jinx block. Your flippendo knockback jinx will move it aside. To move the jinx block, cast flippendo at it. Flippendo! Oh god, he says it. What else is here? pictures. These have to be developers, surely. I'm willing to bet a lot of these uh, pictures on the wall are drawings of the developers. They have to be. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that does work. Ah! Son of a bitch! You fucking rat! Oof, that's weird. No, it's not a door. Oh, it's just a... Just a means to get to the frog. Okay. All right. Sure. Whatever. Uh oh. Ow. I wonder if there's any full damage in this game. Mysterious shadowy figure. Well, you've made it this far. Now take a look at this. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged flipendo knockback jinx to move it. To cast a charged knockback jinx, hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it. Okay, gotcha. Just shout that, doesn't he? Flipendo! I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. That seems loud. Flipendo! Okay. Anything below these platforms? Nope, doesn't look like it. Whoop, nope. Like there's like secrets I can come back to later on. At least I hope that's the I'm case. The long bottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. Okay. Or I could just do this. Oh, 
Okay, this is annoying as hell. Fucking, there we go. Dick. Got him. The lever is around here somewhere. There, I found it. I found it. Call blimey, Harry Potter. Christ. Uh, nothing there. Anything around these corners? No. 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 Okay. Doesn't appear to be much in this room. Hmm. I wonder if that crack is anything. No, I'm going to cast my wand at your crack. Excuse me. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Nope. Oh well, moving on. I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to have to take this mask off in a minute because it is a little bit st oh, stifling in here. It's also kind of hurting my ears. I'm not used to wearing a mask, so it's my ears are not happy right now. Two torches. A charge for Pendo nut breakings might free Hegwood from those bars. Keep the cross button held down to cast one. Okay, I'm going to look around first. Nothing back here except us moths. Mm, nothing. Whoop. Let's go up here first. Uh, I see you rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. He's a little go bit of a, sh you know. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry, let's go. I'm so pathetic, even Ron looks good. Near me? Like, Christ's sake. Now I thought Ron was meant to be the pathetic one. Oh, motion blur. Oh, glitchy soundtrack. Wow! Hedwig brought you a broomstick! I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me! Alright. Whoops. Here's the doorway to the flying lesson. Watch yourself, Harry. I hear Madame Hooch is really strict. Madame Hooch, I'm you say? I'm still waiting for my broomstick. Our stupid owl is ancient. It's going to take forever. I'll wait for you here. Oh, okay. I wanted to go over there and see what those those things were in that corner, but all right. I am Madame Hooch, your teacher. There is a house point bonus if you excel at any of the following tasks. Steer your broomstick using the directional buttons and press the cross button to move forwards. First, fly through each hoop that appears in sequence. On my whistle, then. Hooch isn't my name, I'm just always drunk. Oh, these are not proper flight controls. What the hell? Oh shit! Well 
Well done. Five points for Gryffindor. Hurrah, Next I guess. Is a little harder, but there are bonus house points if you succeed. Fly okay. Fly each magic hoop that appears. Remember, slow down to turn tighter. Uh -huh. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Three, two, one. I'm quite drunk all the time. That's why they call me Hooch. Down. I wish these were proper flight controls. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Down. Fucking Christ. Oh my god, I keep overturning. <laughs> Down. Oh. <laughs> down. My instinct is to always push up to go down because that's proper flight controls. Fuck. But this game is like, no. Where? Oh god. I do believe you may have a natural talent for this. Ready for a tougher challenge? There are bonus house points for a perfect score. As before, fly through each of the magic hoops. Concentrate now. On my whistle. Three, two, one. Up. Left. Up. Left. Fuck! Oh my god, this fucking... <laughs> Is there an option for this? Can I turn on proper... There we go, that's what I want. Exit. Continue. Oh, fucking Christ. Ugh! Okay. Ugh. Oh, fucking. Oh. I didn't touch you, lady. This is dumb. Concentrate, Potter, and try again. I don't want to. <laughs> oh no, is the game going to force me to do this until I do it right? I don't want to. Do this. Ah, oh, keep missing this. Okay. I'm just gonna use the. Okay. Oh! Oh my God. Okay, turn around. Stand by the hoops, then, you silly. Okay. Oh, shit. Well done, Potter. A good score. Five more house points for Gryffindor. You've mastered the basics of broomstick control. Uh, now run along. If you say so. She's a real know-it-all, and a teacher's pet. No, I am not. Hello, Harry. Charms class is about to start. Isn't it exciting? She's rather annoying, isn't she? Okay. I'm assuming this is trying to show me where I should be going. save the game. Let us do this. You know what, while we're doing this, let's uh, use this opportunity to take these fucking, whoops, all this shit off my head. Oh.
Oh, oh my poor ears. Leave the gloves on though, for now. Okay. That's better. Oh. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Oh no! I forgot in my spell book. I'll catch you up, Harry. Charms class before the timer runs out. Walk through the floating clocks to start the timer. Okay. Seems a bit unnecessary, but okay. Go. Oh god! Oh! Fuck off! This is a point where using the D-pad is better than the analog stick. You must be Harry Potter. Welcome to Charms class. You're just in time. Welcome, young wizard. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Watch my wand move and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Now you try. Remember, press the symbol button that my wand points to. Get ready. <laughs> Dear. That was good. I was expecting the model to actually point, Excellent. not this. Keep trying. Excellent. Oh dear. Excellent. Perfect. Superb. Keep up now. It's going to get harder. Why? Not good. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Well done. You've mastered Wingardium Leviosa. You've played this incredibly and Weasley. Follow me to see the Wingardium Leviosa. Incredibly basic spell rhythm mini practice. games. Now, listen carefully. An object that can be charmed will be marked with a yellow sparkle. A charmed object can be levitated. Keep the cross button depressed if you want to change the object height. Okay. Try levitating the hourglass onto its pedestal to open the door. Press the triangle button to release the object. Two are just gonna stand around. Do they say anything? I can't wait to levitate objects. Remember to use the cross button to change an object's height. I can't believe Malfoy took your owl. We should use his spell to teach him a lesson. Pretty sure using magic to bully other kids is against the rules. Wingardium Leviosa! Okay. Hold it down to change. Well done! Five points to Gryffindor. Oh, more motion blur. Hedwig, how are you carrying these things? Dear Harry, 
please meet me in the castle grounds. You can get to the castle grounds through the front door of the castle. Pop round for a cup of tea and a chat. I have something important to tell you. Your friend, Hagrid. Alright. Alrighty then. Uh, what is this? Oh, I've got to remember where the hell I'm going now. Let's go... This way? No, that's... that's broomstick. Library is locked. Okay. Oh, all right, yep, here we go. Here we go. This is how we get back to the main foyer. Ooh, can we go through here? And oh, that's the entrance hall. Okay, that's where we actually have to go. Give give this kid his damn beans. Not well. Oh, here they are. Hello, Harry. Still haven't managed to collect the yellow earwax every flavor beans. I've got some. Give us the beans, and we'll tell you the password to the portrait of. The Why do you want the bell. earwax flavored ones? George and I have left something behind the portrait that you might find very handy. Have you got those Bertie bots every flavor beans? The earwax flavor. Yellow yeah, I've, in I've got some. I've got like twenty-two of them. No, fine. For sale, issues one to six of the Adventures of Martin Miggs, the Mad Muggle, three sickles each. Hmm. Okay, I guess they don't want them. Could you imagine if the load times were like any longer? That would make exploring this place borderline like horrendous. Just wouldn't be able to do it. Ugh. The great foyer. Alright then. Well, well, Potter. We meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me, no matter how hard you try. Motherfucker, why do you care? Big scary castle, eh? Oh dear, I think Potter is going to cry. I, kid, you would not survive. You would... In a real school, you would get the shit kicked out of you, motherfucker. Wingardium Leviosa! I've seen less nerdy kids than you getting... Wingardium getting Leviosa. terrible things happen to them. Time for a lesson, Potter. Let me teach you about wizard crackers. You're not leaving this castle until I have revenge. What's happening? Okay. Okay. I think I know what to do now. Wait for it to hit the ground. Motherfucker! Oh. 
literally wait for him to just throw. Crab, take care of the crap star. <laughs> no, I said crap. I'll give you a taste of my super wizard crackers. I'm pretty damn sure he just said crap. He didn't say crab. He just said crap. Bowls. What? Yeah, that timing's a lot harder now. Come on, you motherfucker. Crab, you idiot! You're supposed to protect me! Goyle, get in here! Now we'll show this twit who the real wizards are! <laughs> okay. Dodging his shit. Fuck. Fuck. I can't always see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, he threw one. Grab it. Walk up to him and hit him. What is this throwing of crackers shit? Blast you, Potter. Next time you won't be so lucky. Just walk up and punch him. Like What is this throwing of explosive just bullshit? Just I'm pretty damn sure they're going the wrong way. Meanwhile, the house point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. <laughs> Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Will Slytherin hold the house cup for a seventh consecutive year? Does it matter? Hello, Harry. It's me, Hagrid. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. You'll need to attend your herbology class. Professor Sprout's in the greenhouse waiting for you. Come round my hut later for tea. I've something to ask you. My hut's in the grounds. Okay.
We're going to do another tutorial. Is that what we're doing? Oh, another race by the looks of it. one give me that purple one or blue or whatever it is look purple in the game okay hurry the fuck up Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> no, get the fuck off. God, these... You're just in time. Good day, students. I'm Professor Sprout. Right, let's learn how to cast an incendio spell. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbols it points to. Oh. Complete each sequence three times to learn the incendio spell. That's the ticket. Now let's start the lesson. Get ready. Fucking hell, the timing on this is a little bit... That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Most impressive. Now try this one. Fucking hell. Keep trying. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> well done. You've mastered the incendio spell. Apparently. Now follow me to learn how to use the incendio spell. Sounds like it's got something to do with fire. Incendio sounds like incendiary. Let's try the incendio spell to wither a bouncing bulb. Use your wand on the bouncing bulb by the door. Hit the correct symbols and you'll build up enough spell power to affect the bulb. Okay. Let me just eat some chocolate frogs. There we go. Incendio! Oh, oh my god The timing on this is not great <laughs> Shall we try that again? Incendio! I have to hit the button like a good half a second Five points to Gryffindor. Have you been to Quid 
this training yet. I don't this want to. year they're even I letting don't want first to. years train. You should have a go. I hear you're pretty good on a broomstick. Nope. Don't give a fuck. What are these? Hmm. Nope. Ah, oh, sure, let's save. Whatever. Let's go see Hagrid and we'll, we'll call it for this game, I think. These chuckle fucks. Want the password for the portrait, Harry? Bring us blue every flavour beans. But watch yourself. There are some weird creatures running around out there. Found those blue every flavour beans yet? Can I, like. I've got two. Do you want two? No? You have to find all of them, I guess. Maybe you've got to find all of them. Kitten has fallen down the well. I can't reach her. It's very dark down there. Will you help me? If you can find the bottom of the well, you might find her. Ah, uh, sorry, mate. She's dead. Hmm. I used to have a puffs game. But Fred and George used it for bludger practice. A what? A, a puff what? Ah! Oh. Puff skeins. Friendly fellas. But they have a large appetite. Hagrid. Huh. Okay. I'm just gonna sit here and watch this weird little vegetable boy eat bushes and burp out beans. Oh, okay. Okay. See, that, that looks like a secret up there. Hang on. Nintendo! Nope. There's something about that texture, though, that looks... Nintendo! That looks... Suspect. Come on, buddy. Come over here, you shit. If you get too far away from him, he's like... He just... Runs away. <sighs> That's disgusting. Buddy, over here. Yo. You can't actually cross that threshold. Okay.
There you are. I hope you're well in your herbology class. Eh. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds from a rare plant in the forest? The plant lives just beyond the gargoyle gate. Been some very strange goings on of late. Be careful, Harry. I can't be bothered to do this dangerous job, so I'm going to get this child to do it. Okay. Where does that go? It's a... Can I go in the hut? Where's the hut? No, nope, can't go in the hut. Uh, that goes back the way I came. So this is the only way to go. Alrighty then. my way Harry there's a, there's a huge monster down there okay hello you're a Gryffindor student aren't you nice to see a new face if you want to proceed you'll need to know my password once you have it, come see me and I'll open for you. Gross. I'll just hang around here for a while. <laughs> Good luck, young Gryffindor. Kids, don't talk to that portrait. She's a bit of a whore. I'm assuming that's all the blue beans. If we go up back and talk to them, maybe. Oh god, we've got to go all the way back. Oh god. How far back were they? I don't think they were that far away. It's just because we were feeding this little shit. I think they're just here. He still lost his cat. Found some sweet booze. Hell yeah. Found those blue every flavour beans yet? I've got quite a few of them. Found those blue every flavour beans yet? I guess not. Fine. I guess I didn't get them. Maybe I'm missing. Maybe there's some, like, hidden that I just don't know where they are. Hmm. back here <laughs> I feel like we haven't done anything and we're already a fifth of the way through the game it seems it seems like too much Shadowy figure is back. Jesus. Oh my god. Run! You fucking child. Missed! Fuck you! Wingardium 
Leviosa. I like how the spells you've got to use are uh, entirely um, context sensitive. I'm not running back to them now. Fuck that. Just not doing it. Oh, sweet. More booze. Chug, chug, chug. A save book. Ooh, lava. Cool. Didn't realize Hogwarts was in a volcanic region. More of these little fuckers. Okay. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Wake up, you fuck. Come on. doing? Nintendo! Nintendo! Nope. Oh wait, yes, I see. You blocked the hole so that made this more powerful. Okay, I gotcha. I understand. doing? Why do I care? Alright, another one of these. It's gonna eat the bush. It's gonna eat the bush. The bush he gets fatter. Okay, come over here. Okay, no, I guess not. Before these guys start trying to eat me. No, that doesn't 
doesn't work. Nope. Okay. What's this? Okay. Is there another one? There might be another one nearby. Okay, you follow me. Oh yeah, there's one over here. Oh, he's getting distracted. He's too big. Is that it? Yeah, he was too fat to fit in the hole, so we had to make him smaller. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Again, this seems dangerous for a school. <laughs> yeah, we've got to get to that. Okay. Yeah, this is why Hagrid wanted us to do this. Not because he, you know, he's busy, but because he just doesn't want to risk painful death. We, we are presumably over 25% of the way through this game in an hour. Ha. Huh. Not a particularly long game. Harry Potter died 50 points from Gryffindor because I'm a bitch. Oof. Okay. What happens if you destroy... Oh no, they do They do respawn. For a moment there I thought you could potentially soft lock the game by causing all three platforms to break but jumping back here. I guess they thought of that. Oh shit, okay. So that's the problem with the automatic jump system, is that it, you can't really control how far you jump or where you're going to land all that well. Incendio! Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Circle. Fuck. Circle. Again, the timing on this sucks, because this is going through the um, all the capture equipment, so there's an insane amount of delay on this stuff, so <laughs> I have to press it before the circle actually crosses the button, so... Incendio! 
Incendio. Here we go. Circle. Square. Circle. Square. Circle. Square. Fuck. Circle. Square. Circle. Oh my god. Oh! Are you kidding me? Incendio! Square. Circle. Circle, circle, square, circle, square. Oh, fuck me! Square, circle, circle, square, circle, square, triangle. Fuck! <laughs> Try again! <laughs> this, oh my god, this delay is killing me. Circle, square, circle, square. Fucking me! Oh. This is just annoying. Circle, square, circle, square. Fuck. Circle, square, circle, square. Tr circle, square. Oh my god, this is annoying as fuck. <laughs> Why does this have to be a rhythm thing? What? Why? This is annoying. Okay. Incendio! Circle. I have to basically do it almost a full quarter of a circle before the fucking thing. Ah! Oh. oh, are you kidding me? Oh, this sucks. I hit it. Fuck me, God. That's annoying. Hooray, you can now set shit on fire. Because that's fun. You gotta jump all the way back. Great. Oh my god, get up on the damn thing. You actually have to run all the way back to Hagrid's hut. You do, don't you? Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Fucking run! Get up. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm not doing that again. That sucked. <laughs> yeah, 27%. What's this, 20, 29, 30% now? Okay. moment. Mm. Sorry about that. Anyway, where were we? Before that call of nature interrupted me. When you gotta go, you gotta go, you know? Oh, that's right, we've been doing this cave. This was not here the first time came through here, surely. Be 
maybe it was and I just don't remember. Gargoyle gate. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we have been through here. It's... Okay. I can't believe they're making us run all the way back. You've found the fire seeds. Now I can show you what I need them for. But it's our secret, mind you. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Turns out the fire seeds are incredibly powerful cannabinoids. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? I got this from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon egg. I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. I am the mother of dragons. <laughs> Up you come, my beauty. Ain't he lovely? I'll With you, I can retake the Iron Throne. Ridge back, you know. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book, Quidditch Through the Ages. Thanks? Mm, we'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. Gave me I'll your sports you almanac. Thanks, Thanks for that, I guess. Alright, let's find a save book and stop. Oh look, there's one. How handy. Out. Stick it back in the case. Alright. How about we play a little bit of the sequel? And definitely one of the last major releases for the PlayStation 1. What would have this been? Would this been a 2002 or perhaps even a 2003 release? Hang on. It doesn't say... Oh no, it says 2002. Okay. I believe it. didn't seem to play at the correct speed. Oh boy. 
I do enjoy the glitchy PlayStation 1 emulation of the PlayStation 3. Who wants to bet this runs on the exact same tech as the previous game? Because why would you develop new tech for the PlayStation 1 in 2002? Yeah, this is running on the same the same engine. Very clearly. Vibration on, flying control reversed. Hit you. Make sure the analog sticks are on. Yep, analog mode. <clears throat> oh look, they have done one small uh, one small improvement, auto saving. I forget, is this the one with the giant snake? This is the one with the giant snake, isn't it, that turns people to stone? Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Along with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. But now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter. A plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared. And shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent as someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Couple. Rico Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house, the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Bed's empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. Yeah, this is very clearly the same, the same everything. Happy to see the load times are still pretty fast, though. Hello, Harry. Welcome to my home. It's not much, 
I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. Come on, Harry. If the ghoul is locked the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. Ooh, some interlacing there. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long, you can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, you need to press the X button to cast. Does he shout flipendo every time? Oh, why? Can I not use the sticks? Hang on. Oh, hang on. I've got to... Controller settings. Analog mode. Okay, I'm going to run this way first. Let's just see what's up here. Oh no, they got rid of the uh, the close-up view camera and now it's just a... It just spins in place where it is, which is pretty good. Try and flipendo these crates with your lot back jinx. It is Remember, a flipendo. press the X button to cast. Shut up. Oh, oh the camera's still terrible. <sighs> Don't patronise me, Ron. You shit. Nintendo. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh dear, Mum's really not happy and I think we should avoid her. Let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Watch me and then follow. To climb onto a crate, walk up... Yeah, I know. <sighs> okay, your turn, Harry. <sighs> Push into the small crate to climb on top and then run over the gap to auto-jump. More of this auto-jumping bullshit again. Try doing this with the D-pad. Right. We need to calm down the ghoul. He's banging and dropping pipes and it's driving mum mad. Use your directional He's not dropping them, he's throwing the them. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. Right, okay. Harry, let's get to it. Oh shit!
it's what I carry. That'll shut him up for a while. Face Don't understand how, all. but okay. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now, I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non-magical junk. Do you not call your husband by his first name? Are you two having troubles? He must be here through this really poorly rendered gate. Everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx so we can get through the gate. Okay. Ooh. Yay, we're destroying personal property. going to be super pissed that we smashed up all his barrels. Hey look! Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. Oh, this old chestnut. <sighs> Hello, Harry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after a past game. Making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puffs gain over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavour beans that you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. If you guide the puffs gain over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Whenever you get a wizard card, it is put into your folio magi, Press the select button. This will show you the folio magi and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. Okay. There are two types of famous witches and wizards cards. The silver cards and the four special gold founder cards. Okay. Oh, shit, you can move the camera with the right stick. That's new. Yeah, I suppose by 2002, people had finally figured it out that, yo, the right stick exists. Felix Summerby. Okay. Don't know who that is. Best find Ron, Harry. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. It's this way. What is she doing? Hmm. 
I'm gonna see what this fat fuck does. I'm kind of amazed this thing doesn't eat you out of house and home, to be honest. Select button. Okay. Felix Summerby, inventor of cheering charms. Hmm. Got a report card now. Belching sound effect never gets old. Ever. Come on, one more. Alright, let's see what the old fart's got to say. Hello, Harry. I'm Arthur Weasley. I was wondering if you'd help me denome the garden. It's just through the gate, but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost them under all this junk. Use your Wingardium Leviosa spell to charm and move the junk. Holding the X button levitates each piece of junk. Use your directional buttons to move the junk about, and press the triangle button to drop it onto the rocks and break the junk up. Could you charm them and drop them onto the rocks, please? Maybe we can find those gloves. I know I left them around here somewhere. Seems a very strange method of cleaning up your garden, but all right. Wingardium Leviosa! That's right, Harry. Keep going. Smash that shit up, good. Wingardium Leviosa! That's right, Harry. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa! This doesn't seem practical. Well done, Harry. Nice Oof. work. You found the denoming gloves. Here they are. Just looks like a regular pair of gloves. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that will come in very handy. The sooner we denome the garden, the sooner we can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. Uh, I wanted to flipendo the chickens, but the game won't let me. Kick them, though. these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants us to throw these gnomes over the fence and into that field of that's not magical junk. To fling a gnome, you're going to need a good run-up. Hit the square button as quick as you can to build up speed. Once you reach the fence, you begin spinning on the spot. Press the triangle button when you're ready to throw the gnome. You get points for distance and for hitting the target. Okay. Press the triangle button to throw <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it looked like that hurt to me. Don't worry, I'll get that one, Harry. 
Okay. Mash square. Last one, I think. I think it's the last one. Oh, did I get it? Yes! <laughs> Cha-ching! fun as it was chucking these uh, thinking feeling creatures that appear to have a culture and a language like they're some sort of filth Hello I there. think we'll stop for now Fancy a wizard jewel? no a wizard jewel don't tell me you've never taken part in a wizard jewel you've got a lot to learn Harry is this safe of course Fuck it's no safe. Uh, well mostly We saved either side of the cutscene. That was totally worth it. Okay. Dueling is really simple. All you have to do is try and hit your opponent with the knockback jigs. Every time you hit your opponent, you get closer to disarming him. And don't forget, fully charged knockback jinxes can be cast by holding the X button down and then releasing it. But don't worry, Harry. Fred will go easy on you this time. Okay? Let's duel. Get ready! Duel! Young Potts is going to have to be on his guard this afternoon. Fred Weasley's a master tactician. Ah. Oh, my word. That's a real skill from the youngster. Ow! Great play by Potter. He's really holding his own. Suck it. Oh, you fucker. I mean, this is better than wizard crackers. Well done, Harry. You won the first round. Oh, shit. We've got to do three of these things. Get ready. Jewel. And the jewel gets underway with him quickly into his rhythm. Ow. Ah. 
Just don't stop moving. Oh, motherfucker. How he, he deletes his shots. Okay. Ah, Fuck. This is turning into a classic match. Oh, that's lovely. <gasps> Suck it. Expelliarmus. Ow. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> he just explodes. Like, oh shit. <laughs> well done, Harry. Now let's try again. But this time we'll introduce some special jinxes. Good idea, Fred. See that TV? See the way it's sparkling? That means it's got a special jinx in it. To get the special jinx, you have to force me to hit the TV with one of my jinxes. That will release an orb that you can run over and pick up. Anything that sparkles like the TV has got a special jinx in it. So remember to look out for the sparkles. Oh, I nearly forgot. Look out for special your sparkles. Special only be cast using the circle button. Don't even That's know what that important. means. Come on, let's give it a try. Get ready! Jewel! Jewel! Yeah. Oh, fuck. Beautiful play by Weezy. Press the circle button to cast that special jinx. And it missed. Great. Lovely work from Potter. Weezy's got his work cut out now. Play by Potter. He's really holding his own. Ow! Ooh, ah. That's lovely. Ow! That's terrific stuff. Fuck! Ah. Look at that. This is turning into a classic ah. match. Shit! <laughs> a motherfucker had my number. Oh shit. Beautiful play by Weasley. Nice work from Potter. For a beginner, he's doing really well. Showing plenty of spirit there. He's taken Ugh. the second round and even the contest up. Get ready, Jewel. Ow. Nice work from Potter. For a beginner, he's doing really well. Ah. Look at that. This is turning into a classic match. Shit. <laughs> wow, look at that. You're a natural, Harry. No. No more. There's enough doing it twice.
We need to find Ginny. She's wandered off somewhere, and the whole family is waiting so we can go to Diagon Alley and get our school supplies. We better split up and find her. Oh, by the way, watch out for some of Dad's junk. If you come across any, use your knockback jinx or your Wingardium Leviosa to defend yourself. If you find you're getting a little low on health, chocolate frogs will help replenish your energy. So keep an eye out for them. Right, let's split up. I'll go this way. See you soon, Harry, and good luck. No. I'm going to assume this game again has no map. Okay, possessed lawnmower. Oh great, cursed washing machine. This all seems very uh, standard so far. Let me guess, pick this guy up and we can get up there. something to charm onto the pressure pad. <laughs> it's 
Seems simple enough. Where's that last barrel? Where's that other lawn mower there? Oh, this is all getting a little bit dull. It's all kind of the same thing. Okay. Hopefully this is the end of the pre-Hogwarts stuff. Woo. Nope. Christ, it just goes. It just goes. Another fucking washing machine, are you kidding? Is this it? Please let this be it. I don't know how much longer they can drag this shit out for. Oh my god, it's still going! Flipendo, you shit! Oh my god. Is this it? Please let this be it. No more fucking barrel smashing. No more washing machine bosses. No more pressure. No more bloody lawn mowers. I don't care. There's a bridge. There's a change in scenery. That's a, usually a good sign. people telling me when I was younger that these games were good, were they lying? Or were they just too stupid to realise? Can Harry Potter swim? No, I can't even get there, there's an invisible wall in the way. Whoa! Hello! Guardian Leviosa! 
bees are not very effective. Oh, it's still going! It's still going! This is... This is beyond dull. This is incredibly dull. What is going on? Hengis, what a great name. What did he do? Felix Summerby, invent Heng Felix Summer Hengis of Woodcroft, founded the village of Hogsmeade. Uh, okay. Alright, let's just let's just get get through here. Oh, is this the end? It's the end. Oh hi, Harry. Thank goodness you came. My puffs game swallowed my remembral, and I got lost trying to find him. A remember tells you that there's something you've forgotten to do. You can have it, Harry. I don't have my wand on me now, so use your knockback jinx on the puffs game and he'll spit it out. You, you could, I could just make him spit it out and then you could have it back. Quite Wait, dull, actually. Mum and Dad are waiting to take us to Diagon Alley. Diagon? I thought it was Diagon. Diagon? Why does she run with her hands on her ears? You notice that when she runs, she like puts. She runs like this. It's like, okay, whatever. As you've never travelled by flu powder before, you need to know a few things. When you're in the fireplace, say where you're going, and keep your elbows tucked in. Mind you get out at the right fireplace. Are you sure this is safe? Piece of cake! Diagon <coughs> Alley! Uh, oh shit, okay. Oh fucking god Christ. Where am I going? Okay. Oh, my spine! Okay. I don't know what these are meant to be. Oh, my spine, my ribs. 
my elbows and my shoulders, and my knees and my skull, all cracked, all broken. Harry had no idea where he was. All he could tell was that he wasn't in Diagon Alley. Evil-looking masks stared down from the wall, and rusty, spiked instruments hung from the ceiling. The sooner I get out of here, the better. Harry heard a noise from the door nearby, and two blurry shapes appeared on the other side of the glass. Harry looked quickly around and spotted a large black cabinet. He shot inside it and pulled the doors closed, leaving a small crack to peer through. Seconds later, a bell clanged. And Draco Malfoy stepped into the shop. The man who was with Draco could only be his father, Lucius Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Mr. Malfoy was trying to sell the shopkeeper certain dark magical items that he didn't want the Ministry of Magic to find out about. Harry went to Flourish and Blots to buy his books. While he was in there, Gilderoy Lockhart, Hogwarts' new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, was signing his latest book. Nice big smile, Harry. Together you and I were the front page. Hmm. Harry met up with Ron and Ginny Weasley. Lucius and Draco Malfoy were also there. Okay. Loading. Loading screen. Uh oh. <laughs> Did the game crash? I can't hear anything. I can't hear the drive moving. I can't hear any loading. I'm going to assume the game has crashed. And with that, I think we shall call that a video. A nice, decent, two hour long one. Ugh. Yeah. These games seem... They seem... Fine. For kids. I can imagine somebody who was like around like, I don't know, 10 or younger perhaps really liking these games. But yeah, like, oof. What was I? When I was in 2002, I was, I was 15. I was 15 in 02, so yeah, this would have been a little bit too, too simple for me back then. So, but yeah, I can imagine a 10-year-old getting a ton of fun out of uh, these games, so... Hmm. Oh well. Eh. My opinion on the Harry Potter franchise has not changed at all. Uh, it just, it exists. I don't, my opinion is that I don't really have an opinion on it. It exists, and the people who like it, like it, and I don't think any less of them for it. It's just, whatever. It's a it's a very successful franchise that appeals to certain people, but to me, it's just, I have nothing but pure apathy for it. Eh. Anyway. Can we get this to quit? Or is it going to require... A hard reboot. My PlayStation 3's been getting a little bit flaky lately. Sometimes it can't boot or stuff, so you have to hold down the power button for 10 seconds to make it a hard reboot, and it's all just a little bit flaky. Anyway. Thank you for joining me. Not the most exciting video, I know, but oh well, something to do. I've got a bunch of free time 
lately so maybe I'll do uh, one or two more videos before I go back to work who knows anyway thank you for joining me I'm the real blue dragon goodbye